Seasonic, the heart of your system. We're here with the legend himself, 8-Pack, and he's going to talk to us about his fantastic system I've got behind me, and also, interestingly, Intel Performance Maximizer. Over to you. Uh, hey, Kit Gora, viewers. Yes, I'm uh, here at, in uh, the Science Museum in London, uh, at an Intel launch event, essentially. Uh, and what I'm showing here is, uh, well, doing a bit of a demonstration, in fact, actually, for Intel on their performance maximizer. Uh, they asked me to uh, give this a try a few months ago before it even came out to, to actually uh, validate it, if you like, against manual overclocking. So uh, what we've got here on the test bench is a CPU that's been uh, binned by myself and by the technicians at Overclockers UK. Uh, and this is a five gigahertz bin CPU. Uh, so I put it in the motherboard, completely de uh, defaulted the BIOS, loaded up the maximizer and ran it. It's got, a, if you like, an EUFI interface, which looks a bit like DOS. And it basically runs through a series of stability and stress tests on each multiplier all the way up to uh, 51, 5.1, uh, uh, and, uh, and all the way up to a safe voltage and safe temperature on each one. Uh, and then after around one and a half to two hours, it reboots into Windows. Uh, and you can see here uh, the results from, from uh, its testing, if you like, its automatic testing. So what, what we have here is that it managed to overclock the CPU from its 4.7 all core frequency, uh, up to 4.9 all-core frequency. Now we know this uh, CPU is, is five gigahertz, so it didn't quite make uh, what what we could by doing manual overclocking, but it made a lot of the way there. But for me, the most important thing was it made it in a safe manner. Uh, a lot of the uh, vendors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, if you plug say five gigahertz in BIOS, you reboot. Uh, the 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 voltages are, are so high that if you run any type of stress testing at all, uh, the the CPU is throttling. Uh, what we have, what we, what I uh, did here is I ran the uh, uh, Asus Realbench and some uh, non-AVX enabled uh, version 26.6 uh, Prime uh, to check the temperatures at stock, and we we're maxing out around 80C on this uh, uh, 240 radiator uh, cooling loop here, uh, and then after running, after using the maximizer, I then uh, tested the temperatures, and, I, and we were only up to around 85C, which is still uh, very, very uh, safe. Uh, and at the same time, uh, I was checking the voltages as well, and it's using uh, you know very reasonable voltage under load of around like 1.25 or so. So, so nothing that's ever going to do any damage to the CPU. Which, which is absolutely great because, uh, you know, anyone now can just install this without any knowledge whatsoever and click run, and they're going to get an extra 200, 300, 400, 500, whatever megahertz the CPU is capable of, maybe not as much as manual overclocking, but without a possibility of doing any damage. Uh, a couple of things that are missing maybe from the maximizer is it's not setting the XMP for you. Uh, it, so, so from the complete default BIOS in the start, it really should uh, set the XMP, uh, uh, just to gain a little bit more out of the memory, uh, with, without again uh, needing for the end user to do anything. Uh, through the MEI it should be able to do that, and it also should be looking to overclock the cache a little bit. Every CPU that uh, I've ever tested really can do another 200 megahertz on the cache, so they could easily integrate that into the already comprehensive testing to push the cache a couple of hundred megahertz higher. Uh, and otherwise, it's, it's, it's really quite a good package, you know. For, for the complete novice, it's, it, it's perfect because they cannot damage anything. So for novice users who just want to start out overclocking, don't really have all that much knowledge, perfect solution to get them started. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely perfect because like I said, that the, from, from my testing, there's no danger of them doing any uh, damage to the, any of the hardware that they've put a lot of money into. Uh, and, and it's free performance, so who wouldn't do it, you know? Who doesn't want free performance? Absolutely, you know, higher frame rates for, for no cost. Uh, I mean, the only thing, I mean, so, uh, talking to people around the room here, some people have said, oh, it takes a long time, like one and a half hours, just go, you know, go have your dinner, watch a film, come back and you've got free performance. For me, that's totally fine, you know, your set, uh, hardware is safe. So, yeah, hats off to Intel for that. One and a half hours beats 24 hours of Prime, to say the least. Well, exactly, yeah, exactly.
So moving on, what do we have here? What is this exquisite creation? The 8-pack Supernova uh, XL. Uh, it's a limited edition build, uh, primarily because it's in a now discontinued Case Labs uh, STH-10 uh, case, which we have uh, powder coated in black here. Obviously, the end user can, uh, if they choose to buy the machine, can have that powder coated any color. And also, the CPU uh, in here is also a limited edition because it's a 9990 XE uh, CPU, uh, which is 14 cores with a boost uh, frequency of up to 5 gigahertz. Uh, and this CPU was only available through Intel via auction uh, to certain uh, SIs. So it's not uh, something we could produce in any numbers because the CPU and the case is, is, is you know, end of life limited number. So it's a limited edition run. We've got that uh, 14 core, 28 thread, five gigahertz uh, boost frequency CPU, but actually we overclocked the all core frequency to between 4.7 and 4.8. Uh, you've got um, two 2080 Ti's configured in SLI. You've got in this demo unit the 64 gig of memory, but should the customer uh, buy the unit, it's, it's 128 gig of standard. You've got uh, four terabytes of NVMe storage uh, and 10, te uh, 10 terabytes of uh, HDD storage. 1600 watt PSU uh, and so on and so on and so on and obviously it's great for uh, creators, uh, it's great for uh, gamers uh, and literally can pretty much run anything you throw at it. You know, you've got an uh, uh, Intel CPU so you can run AVX 512 as well, no issues uh, for people who want to do complex simulation on there. So yeah, it, it's a PC for all but obviously it's got this uh, striking look. Uh, we've got the two reservoirs here, we've got the custom light box in the bottom here, we've even got a small monitor here in the front, uh, in the front of the machine here, uh, and, and the water flow is, is, is sent around the system via these distribution plates of which we have, uh, I think there's six or seven in there, there's one here, one along the roof, between the radiators at the top, between the radiators at the bottom, and in the roof of the system. And how much does this typically dent your credit card? Uh, this one, this one uh, is weighing in uh, between 15 and 16,000, depending on the configuration uh, you select. Uh, we launched this actually at the June uh, Computex event, uh, and we've sold uh, five of these units now. So we've got our, uh, three, three left to sell, uh, eight pack, eight, eight machines. So, uh, you know, uh, and obviously that's excluding the demo. So we've got three available to, to members of the public who uh, want eight pack in their life.